Hi guys and welcome to another video on the Brumby. So today we are going to start construction of the strut towers in the tray of the Brumby. So enjoy. So first up, we just had to mock up where the hub was going to sit and uh, bolt the strut on to the back of the hub. Oh, so basically what we're doing is I've got this kind of sitting where I want it, coming through the hub and the arms. And I've just got it resting on the tie well here. I'm just going to mark some centre lines. I'm going to try and get in one each side uh, and then one this way. Cool, now we remove the strut, drill a pinhole through with a three mil, and that'll give us a center of our new strut. We've got our little hole there, after marking it all up. We come over to this side, and basically what we do is we're gonna use the uh, plasma cut top hat. I'm um, using this bit of tape to kind of help me get center. And then what we're gonna do is we're going to centralize that, like that and use that to trace out our strut tower hole. So yeah, pretty straightforward and um, shouldn't take long at all. Basically what I did is I marked it out with this, with a bit, and then I've left about 10 mil on. Um, I knew that I had enough clearance uh, when I got this out to leave a couple of mils to make it easier to weld to. So that um, the join was a lap joint. Um, dry test fitted it and um, it actually worked really well. So I've grinded it up ready for a couple of welds. And the way we're going to position it is we're going to use the strut. Ooh. Now what happens is I've kind of modif I'll be moulding the guard a little bit, and this will be reinforced later. So you can see how that's pulled the guard down there, buffed with that side, which is good. It means that there's a bit of tension on this piece of metal, and. Um, What it'll do is it'll stop it from flexing later because it's already flipped. So there's, um, it's tacked in place. Pretty happy with that. My crude tacks. So now we're just gonna fill in that edge there using some cardboard and then cut it out of this pipe. All right, so we have, ah, uh, put that reinforcing plate in. It's actually really hard to scribe. Like to try and get it close, but it's good enough. It gets down onto the chassis rail through here, um, which is still piss weak, but it should reinforce this and stop it from flexing. So I'm happy with that. Now I've just got to do the other side. All right, so it's kind of a little while down the way since I started recording the video, but as you can see, I've done the other side as well and um, I've actually bought some different suspension which is adjustable with adjustable spring, adjustable ride height and some there's some dampeners on top. Okay sweet so I've just stitch welded them on so that's that's all the welding I'm going to do on those. I think it's good enough it's only to hold the strut out. This one here I blew through twice on the top and once on the side, just a little one. 
So we'll put some seam sealer on those later on. Yeah, always have a fire extinguisher, especially when you're doing this kind of stuff. All right, there it is on the ground. Got some good clearance underneath. Wheels poke out nice and wide. Good for our body kit. Um, yeah, oh man, I'm just stoked with that. So I put um, the new coilovers in the front, but I haven't finished setting the height yet. Uh, but yeah, it's looking alright. Pretty happy with that. It's about at least 50 mils lower than the last version of it all. So pretty cool. Front can come down heats more. I just got a cut guard and wind it down. Um, so I just chucked a 20 mil spacer on there for now because I, I need we need to get out a little bit further so that we've got a slightly longer, wider track than the back. But yeah, that's it. That looks sick. So yeah, that's, the, that's it right there. So I uh, might finish up the suspension and then call it a day. All right, that's it for this one. Uh, so as you can see, I am pretty stoked. Um, back on the ground. So looking forward to finishing it off. Uh, we've got to get the fuel system in, finish the brake lines, finish the suspension on the front, um, remount the battery. There's heaps to do. Uh, before we take it to the track um, for our test run but thanks heaps hope you enjoyed it um, let me know cool see you.